Hello everyone, good evening, thanks for joining us. Efforts are being made to reduce the rising price of cooking gas, even though the control of this price is not within the direct regulatory purview of the federal government, Minister of State Petroleum Resources offers clarification. The World Bank Nigeria Development Update launch provided ample discourse to highlight the ongoing reforms in the oil and gas sector, which the PIA largely encapsulates. It's unstoppable. Listen to GMD CEO Mele Kiari espousing more details in the story about these feats, some of which are attributed to his forthright leadership, even as he calls for fast action and quick provision of solutions to industry challenges. One good turn deserves another, but this time around it's in the form of an own call. After a very important collaborative outing to engage the challenges of COVID-19, the Independent Petroleum Producers Group IPPG is being charged to initiate new thinking to tackle industry challenges. In the face of current realities, plus NPSC extends CSR projects to Benin community, welcome to the program, welcome to the details. I'm Akin Agbejule. This is All and Gas Forum. The federal government has said it has no direct control over the rising prices of liquefied petroleum gas, popularly called cooking gas, and cannot regulate it at will. It, however, stated that it was making efforts to reduce the cost of the commodity and make it affordable for Nigerians ahead of the Yuletide. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Timmy Pre Silva, disclosed this to State House correspondents after a meeting with the President, Muhammad Buhari. At the meeting, Silva formally presented the chief executives of the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority and the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, Farouk Ahmed and Benga Komalafe, respectively. Speaking on the reasons for LPG price hike, the minister said, Cooking gas is not subsidized. It is already a deregulated commodity. So the price of cooking gas is not determined by the government or by everybody in the industry. Gas prices are determined internationally. Cooking gas is not uh, subsidized. It is already a de deregulated commodity. So the price of cooking gas is not determined by government or by anybody here in the industry. In fact, Gas prices are determined internationally. And you are all aware that in Europe today, gas prices have gone up. There was even a crisis, I mean, crisis uh, in, uh, in Europe uh, relating to gas prices. So the pricing of gas internationally now affects also the price of gas in the country. The current drive by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, to strengthen gas penetration and utilization across the country received a major boost recently with the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, for the supply of gas to industries and investors in Nasarawa State. The MOU, which is primarily designed to ensure that the state derives maximum value from the Ajakuta Kaduna Kano AKK gas pipeline network, was signed in Lafia by the NNPC and the Nasarawa State at the Nasarawa Business Roundtable, organized to explore investment opportunities in the gas sector. Providing a status update on the ongoing construction of the 614-kilometer AKK pipeline project, the DMD CEO of NNPC Limited, Malamele Kiari, emphasized that Nasarawa State is uniquely positioned to maximize value from the AKK pipeline as well as gas-based business opportunities. Kerry highlighted and appreciated Mr. President's unwavering commitment to utilize gas as a major tool to drive economic development. The whole idea around the gas master plan is to make sure that this abundant gas that we have in our country is made available to all parts of this country and we also monetize it so that we can put it into the export market so that this country can make money from it while creating wealth and prosperity in our country. It's a simple process to make sure that this gas reaches everywhere. Also speaking, Governor Abdullah Isule appealed to the indigenous of Nasarawa State to key into the respective opportunities across the gas value chain, such as distribution, CNG stations, captive embedded power generation, LPG marketing, gas flare commercialization, 
etc. I'm looking forward to Nasarawa State having another tea, you know, initiated by the people of Nasarawa State and benefited by the people of Nasarawa State so that the majority of those industries will be created. Speaking at the event, the managing director of GACN, Mr. Olaleko Ogunleye, said the gas supply collaboration by the Nasarawa State Government and NPC Limited and GACN has set out a clear framework through which investors and projects in Nasarawa State will access gas immediately via virtual pipeline solution CNG and LNG ahead of the AKK pipeline project. This step is designed around the unique peculiarities of Nasarawa State and the requirements of business owners, big projects and industrialists in Nasarawa State. And it's actionable and specific. Managing Director of Nigerian Gas Marketing Company, NGMC, is Justin Ezeala, also provided a marketing perspective on the subject. We want to add commercial value to the gas business. We want to be the dominant player. We want to be the preferred gas marketing company. But for me and my team, we want to even go further than this. We want to exceed customer satisfaction. The signing of the MOU, which was the climax of the well-organized Nasarawa Business Roundtable, was witnessed by the Nasarawa State Governor Engineer Abdul Hai Sule, GMD CEO NNPC Limited, Mala Melekiari, the Group Executive Director Gaza and Power NNPC Limited, Mr. Mohamed Ahmed, the Group General Manager Group Public Affairs NNPC Mala Garba Dean Mohamed, the Chief Executive Officer CEO of Axela, Mr. Bolaji Oshusoya. The event also had in attendance Malam Isa Ibrahim Modibo, Chairman Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission NUPRC, Honorable Justice C.D. Bage Mohammed I, Emir of Lafia, and Chairman Council of Chiefs, and His Royal Majesty Al Haji Dr. Ahmed Abdullahi Hassan, Yakana J of UK Kingdom, Karu Local Government Council, Nasarawa State. <music>
And in order for that action to be taken, obviously there needs to be a consensus. And ultimately the choice will be uh, Nigeria's choice. Speaking at the event, the governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasir El Rufai, and the World Bank's lead economist for Nigeria, Mr. Marco Hernandez, commended the GMD for his forthright leadership in the execution of the oil and gas sector reforms. GMD, I want to appreciate for his forthrightness and uh, the reforms that he has brought into NNPC uh, and all the good work that he's doing, and I really wish them luck. I want to commend also. Uh, NNPC for increasing its transparency with the publication of annual financial statement that hasn't been done before. It was happening for the first time starting uh, last year. It's a critical step forward. Meanwhile, as the removal of fuel subsidy becomes a matter of compliance with the law, Oil and Gas Forum did a quick check on the price of petrol per liter in our neighboring countries. GMD CEO of NNPC Limited, Malamele Kheri, has called on stakeholders in the oil and gas industry to quickly provide solutions to the challenges of the industry before crude oil loses its relevance. Malam Kheri made this call when he received a delegation of the Presidential Amnesty Program led by the program's interim administrator, Colonel Milan Dixon Dikio, retired. Describing the energy transition as a phenomenon that poses serious challenges to countries, endowed with fossil fuels, Kerry observed that there is the need for all stakeholders to collaborate and ensure that a smooth transition to cleaner energy sources is achieved. If we don't do anything quick, resolve our issues, uh, exploit the resources that are available, I can tell you that in another 10 years' time, nobody will come and look for the oil. This is where we are heading to. There will be nothing to worry about probably 10 years' time because people will go to where oil is produced in the, most, in the cheapest manner, without any distractions. So people sense that if they come to your country, uh, they will have no peace, their assets are not guaranteed, the safety of their assets are not guaranteed, they will not come. It's under the example of recent asset divestment efforts by some of the international oil companies, IOCs, operating in Nigeria, which is said was a clear indication that the world is gradually moving away from the fossil fuels in the wake of the current realities of energy transition. He also sought the collaboration of the Presidential Amnesty Program in ensuring lasting peace in the Niger Delta area and mutual understanding with the various host communities within which the NNPC operates. In his remarks, the Interim Administrator of the Presidential Amnesty Program, Colonel Milan Dixon Dikio, retired, said that the group was in the NNPC to seek for areas of mutual collaboration that will help safeguard the nation's critical oil and gas infrastructure. He also called on the NNPC Limited to partner with his team to build the capacity of former agitators in a manner that will ultimately provide business opportunities and economic development in the Niger Delta. In the spirit of oil assets redistribution, you know, seek the, the assistance of the GMD in addressing some of the concerns. We believe that um, if the ex-agitators knew how to disrupt oil production, that energy can be positively used in securing those assets. 